the Volkswagen Gaslight Vapes. I'm your host, Gaslight Kaliva. Um, so today we're going to do something different. We're going to uh, we're gonna have a little guest reviewer on, on, the, on the show today. Um, my good buddy Jinx. Um, he's got his own YouTube channel. Well, of course, so I'll put a link below to his. Um, and we're going to tag team the Sin City Juice line. Um, I've had this juice for a while. Um, I was just waiting for a time to do it. Um, and today was the time. So uh, we're going to cut into the review video. So we'll uh, chat with you at the end. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey folks, welcome to Gaslight Vapes. I'm your host, Gaslight Khalifa. Hello, I'm Jinx. I'm not British. <laughs> so this is the first time we're doing a video together. Uh, people have been asking for this for a while. Um, so fuck it, here goes. Yeah, time to finally do it. What we're looking at today, we're going to look at the Sin City line of juices out of BC. Um, so yeah, you want to get started? Absolutely. We're looking at uh, what, Pride first? Pride. So it is, uh, we'll look at the bottle real quickly here. Um, it's an Irish cream liqueur with whipped cream and coffee. Very cool bottle. They got lots of sweet artwork on these uh, Sin City lines. All right, uh, we got it on a weird RDA. Don't even ask what it is. It's like three different RDAs in one, but it's awesome. And uh, let's uh, let's see about point, point two watt. Uh, Ohms. Definitely um, coffee and cream for sure. I get the whipped cream, definitely. Whipped cream hits me first. Yeah. The sweetness of that whipped and then cream. The coffee aftertaste. Coffee on the exhale, absolutely. Pretty tasty. That'd be a sweet ass morning bait. Smells good too. Very whipped cream though. Good for uh, those with a sweet tooth. I <laughs> have another taste of that. Sure, it might need to redrip there soon. It's, uh, that's 20 gauge in that one, so. <laughs> <laughs> so the battery's probably dead now too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Time to charge that. Are you picking up much of the Irish cream? I'm not, to be honest. Me neither. Whipped cream and coffee. Yeah. Coffee and cream. Absolutely. Alrighty. So next one we're going to try. Let's try the uh, Envy. It's a kiwi cream cupcake with key lime frosting. Ooh. I'm excited. I don't know what any of these juices are until he reads the description. So <laughs> it's very, very thick juice. So it's going to take a couple seconds for it to soak into the <laughs> cotton here. Do you happen to know the ratio? Uh, eighty twenty ish, yeah. roughly. It is pretty, pretty damn thick. It's, it's dense. That's for sure. Wow, let's see the label on this one. Oh, I remember this one. I saw all the pictures before the, uh, all the labels before the juices. That was only a few months ago. A couple months ago. Hmm. All right. I get the lime, obviously, right away. A little bit of the kiwi. Sweetness of the kiwi. Yep. Yeah. I'm uh, in agreement with you. What's the profile one more time? We got. I uh, I definitely get the kiwi cream cupcake with key lime frosting. Yeah, lime for sure. Yeah, I picked up a bit of the the baked good. I never know what to call that profile. Yeah, absolutely. The baked goods. The yeah, baked that's goods. That's the boat. The best way to put it. <laughs> But yeah, no, you definitely get that. Here. Very cool. 
I don't know. That one kind of tastes like absolutely is as it's described. Yep. All right. Envy's a good one. Nice work, Irish. All right. What do we got next? Uh, why don't you pick? I'll grab another RDA. All right, well, we'll I got the freak show ready. Okay. Well, then let's go with the lust. Go over that. So lust is the beeswax infused with watermelon, cotton candy. Right. May have put too much cotton in this, but YOLO. Fresh cotton, all right. It is fresh. Perfect. <laughs> Being pros today. Yeah. I expected this one to taste a lot like King's Cream. Yeah, just it smells it's, like it. It looks like it. What do you want to hit this at? It don't matter to me, man. Just not 165. No, I was good to go 100. <laughs> I'm not a curly. We'll do 90. That's just under 4.2. Alright. Alright, so lust. Beeswax infused with watermelon cotton candy. Kind of sounds like our uh, our King's Cream a little bit, but we'll see. We will see. Beeswax is definitely an interesting uh, addition. I'm not even, I've never actually gnawed on a piece of beeswax, so I'm not sure what it tastes like. It would taste like that, I imagine. I, uh, I'm picking up a, something uh, unknown to me. Yeah, you get the watermelon, but there is definitely something there. Yeah. I don't get a lot of the cotton candy, but I get a ton of watermelon and that other note, which is a beeswax, I would assume. I, I dig that, man. It's not bad. It's not overly sweet. Yeah. I could beat that for a good long while. Woo! Man, this this uh this juice puts out man. It's that thickness. Give me another taste. That is good. The bees that it's something different. The yeah. beeswax. It's it's very unique. All right. Sounds That's like another one that we both kind of like. Yeah. Actually, I didn't check the artwork on that one. I wanted to pick. Ooh. How scandalous. Skeleton's getting a boner. All righty. Next, we'll do uh, sloth. Sounds like <laughs> me. <laughs> Blueberry crumble with cinnamon sugar icing. Oh, shit. What are we going to throw this on? Uh, we've got it on the uh, Authentic Doge V2 with the RCV branding. Oh, nice. Where'd you get that? <laughs> <laughs> this juice is fucking thick. It is, man. One of the only other juices I've seen that thick is uh, Muff Cake. And every time I see juice that thick, I think Max VG Fury. So what do we got here? It's a .1 build, 75 watts, nothing crazy. <laughs> this is my favorite label so far. Right away, I taste the cinnamon. Cinnamon, yeah. First thing I taste. As it tends to go with cinnamon. Pretty sweet. Very, very sweet. I gotta say, I hate blueberries in general, and blueberry vapes I usually really oppose to. I don't mind this. I get the crumble for sure. With the, the definitely the cinnamon hits me, but I get the full the full deal on that one. <laughs> right. 
I love the Doge one, love the Doge two. Yeah, for sure. Definitely pick up the crumble. Yeah. I'm not even actually getting that much of the blueberry. More of a cinnamon dessert. A little bit of blueberry on the XL. Yeah, it's a it's a subtle blueberry for sure. Out the nose, I pick it up a little bit more, but absolutely, it's certainly uh, lot, man. That's only seventy five. Only seventy five. Whopping three point two volts, I think. That's some good shit. Alrighty. Favorite bottle, one of my favorite of the juices so far, I'd say too. You got something else on the go there? Yeah, I got a Doji V1. Alright, so the next one is Wrath. Various hand picked teat, uh, tea leaves, Teats. a pear base, <laughs> and a hint of lemon. <laughs> this one I have tea tried leaves, before. Eh? Yeah. I don't know if I've had a tea base. Well, I had one. But it wasn't very good. <laughs> tea, I would imagine, would be a uh, very subjective kind of, kind of like with coffees, right? I don't know. I grew up drinking lemon tea with my my grandma. So. Oh, okay. So we might get a flood of memories here. Maybe, might be some tears shed. We'll see. <laughs> There's no crying in YouTube, Gaslight. It's like baseball. Yeah. Yeah, you really gotta saturate these fresh, fresh cottons with uh, this thickness. This is a, a lower build. I should actually turn that down a bit. Or a higher build, rather. And I apologize, but you're gonna get some juicy hands, my friend. Mm. Alright. Tea leaves, you know what? Since you got got the, the memories. You hit it up first, my friend. Pear base. Lemon. Yeah? Boom. That's all lemon all day long. Very lemony, yeah. I can... I wonder if there's a mint tea in there, because I got a mint note. Mm. Yes. Absolutely. Pear. I don't know if I'm picking yeah, up very much pear. I, I'm not either. But it definitely tastes like a, a lemon tea. It's got like a That's mint sure. julep thing going on. It's got an interesting smell to it. It's decent. Um, it wouldn't be an all-day vape for me, but uh, it's hitting most of those notes, I think. I, I, I'm missing the pear a bit, but I get the mint tea with lemon. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Cool, cool. Hand me an Addy, one of those black oh. ones. Ooh, what do we it's got? We got a tobe. What are we pulling in? Ooh. Just a single coil. It looks like <laughs> 24 at uh, it's a 0.7. We'll turn the sucker down. 7.3 7. <laughs> volts. Yeah, we'll turn that down just a tad. Could we look like Curly? All right. If you guys come to the shop, you might know the uh, local dragon known as Curly Mo. Goddamn. 165 oh. watts all day. <laughs> this one's my favorite bottle. It's got the big fat guy off the cover of the Warrant album. It's called Greed. Classic peanut butter and the banana. Now, if you guys you guys know me, you know I love my peanut butter and my banana, so... We'll see. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like syrup. Yeah, let's drip it's some so honey. fucking thick, man. <laughs> this has got to be... I would say that's more than 80 20. Yeah, I would too. That's going to take a while to sell again. <laughs> you can I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but you just see a glob on top of the cotton <laughs> slowly going down. You need a drip tip. 
The Uncrustable. Ooh. No gunk on it whatsoever, of course. All right. Ooh, that's creamy. Creamy, that's creamy? Creamy, creamy peanut butter. Oh, it's good ever. That's a really good peanut butter. That is quite good. I've never had a peanut butter that creamy in a bit. I didn't pick up a lot of the banana. I'm going to yeah, turn it up a bit. Alter it a bit here. See if we can pull some banana out of it. I think we might have another guest appearance. So I picked up a little bit more banana there for sure. Who do we got walk in? Some more of the crew. We got some Daniel. We got some Heather. <laughs> do you hear any chit chat? And it's just the crew doing this before the shop opens. Yeah, live on location. We find it's more banana. Still not a lot of banana. I get a little bit, but. It's still all, all peanut butter. Yeah. It's a good peanut butter. Get more banana with the nose again, but it is very subtle on the banana. It's primarily peanut butter for sugar. That being said, do you think that guy's going to eat a banana or a bunch of peanut butter? He's, he's got a fucking, he's, he's got a jar. He's, he's yeah. eating it with a spoon. I think fist, man. There's no spoon involved with that guy. It's all about the greed, right? Alrighty, that one's not too bad. One left. One left. You got some one minute on left go. in the period. Yes. So got the Doge V2 as you did. This is the uh, Gluttony. Uh -huh. The last one. Field pick strawberry sun ripened and topped with whipped Vienna cream. So oh, shit. you're looking at a. Obviously, uh, a mother's milky kind of clone. All right. Jesus H. Thick fucking juice. Yeah. I've had this stuff for a bit. I just got to ask, have you tried it in tanks? I haven't put it in tanks. I, yeah. I, I don't know how well it would do in tanks. Yeah. That's uh, my thought exactly. I think this is a dripper line. Absolutely it is. And all of these are at a three. Oh, 6.2 volts. No, thank you. <coughs> that fucking got some chupa in a tank, though, and it tastes fucking good. Chupa. Oh, people pay attention and they know where they can get that juice. Right. Larissa, you paying attention? Larissa? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Strawberry. Definite strawberry. That's a good strawberry. Now, I've tried this one before. And I'm going to agree with him that that fucking strawberry oh, is shit. fucking good. It's the it's the sun ripened aspect. It tastes uh, a lot like one of my favorite strawberry juices I've ever had, which was from Strix Elixirs, uh, Strawberry Fields. That strawberry note is what I've been chasing in strawberry vapes forever. So I'm stoked on this juice. It's like a like a nice fresh strawberry yeah. taste. It's not like a candied strawberry. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not it's, it's creamy. I'm not picking up a ton of cream, but it's it's definitely a thicker taste. It's juice. more cream feel than the cream taste. That strawberry is fucking good. A 
Oh shit. I think this is probably my favorite of the line. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a full body cream, not not a cream note. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah? That's very good. That's your fave, too? That's my fave. Awesome. All right, folks. That's the uh, Sin City line. Let's get this stuff off this mat. Oh, yeah. We got to talk about someone. Yeah. Some jackass. Some jackass. He's <laughs> laughing in the background. <laughs> Mr. Mike Subon Panic was yeah. nice enough to lend us his lovely vape mat. Gorgeous, uh, gorgeous work. Yeah. You can check Mikey out on uh, Instagram. He does a lot of coil builds, all that kind of stuff. So Just throw a little at symbol in front of that, and you'll find them. Yep. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Later. All right, folks. So you have it. That's the uh, Sin City line of juice out of BC from Lawless. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, guest appearance. Um, I'm thinking we're probably going to have some more of those going forward. Um, not necessarily always Jinx. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of uh, of Jinx. If you liked what he did, um, if you like what he had to say, his style of reviews, definitely subscribe to his channel on YouTube. Like I said, I'll uh, put a link below. Um, Alright folks, thanks for watching. Bye.